I'm Steve Cooch. Coming up in the Fast 15, the people of Flagstaff, Arizona, are hit by one of the worst floods any of them can remember. Due to the nature of the fire and the stuff that's actually burning, but just how serious it is and hard it is to put out, firefighters have switched to using a special foam. That's fun. All right, here we go. This gulf is as deadly as it is beautiful. Countless ships have found their graves at its bottom. Now, as for the voting process, there are any number of places where something could go wrong. And that's exactly what officials believe is what happened with these unchecked voters. I'm out here in Dewey in this area that two-year-old Emmett Trapp went missing, and search teams really have their work cut out for him. Check this stuff out. Look at this area. This is where police believe Emmett went missing. All of this brush, these big, thick trees. I'm about six foot two. I could easily hide in some of this stuff. Let's go inside for a closer look at just what the damage did. This part right here really shows you just how dangerous this storm turned out to be. This branch right here punched a hole right through the house like a knife through hot butter. We've got just a huge portion of the local community coming out here to beg sand. People like my friend Joel here lending a hand to make sure all of his neighbors who are impacted by this terrible flood get the help they need. The winds were so strong, as a matter of fact, that it picked up a huge chunk of this roof and then literally threw it like a baseball, woof, right into this neighbor's garage. Steve Kouche joins us live. Steve, what are they doing to, to get rid of that stench out there? <laughs> well, as you can see here, I am standing in the, uh, basically the middle of the lake. The water would be way above my head if it was still here. All of that will help get rid of the smell, but, you know, just get rid of that isn't going to solve Tempe's problem. This was one of their biggest attractions, and now it's gone. Here to tell me how the city is going to rebound from that is Councilman Corey Woods. Corey, how do you guys move on from this? I mean, this was a huge revenue booster for the city. Well, at the end of the day, I mean, we generate an estimated 2.7 million visitors a year. The decision has come down from the judge tonight. The trial for self-help author James Ray will go on. Thanks for choosing us. I'm Steve Kooge. This is an ABC 15 breaking news report. That breaking news involving an emergency in a Southwest flight heading to Phoenix from Houston. That flight was forced to turn around and land in El Paso after the smell of smoke broke out on the plane. Chris Ennis of Cave Creek was on that flight. A paragliding accident sends a man to the hospital after he plummets 60 feet to the ground. It happened this afternoon on South Mountain. ABC 15's Brian Webb joins us live now. And Brian, do we know how this victim is doing? Firefighters tell us he has cuts and bruises. The organization helps fill and fund libraries around the world in areas that usually don't have them. So tasty food, go grab yourself a snack and help kids read. World News Diane Sawyer is coming up next. We'll be back at 6 o'clock. And don't forget to make ABC15.com your homepage. Have a good night.